In this video, we're going to show you how to install ignition coils on your Infiniti G37X, located on both sides of your engine. Underneath the hood, you're going to locate the battery cover on the passenger side. You're going to press up on this little tab here, and then one on the other side, and remove this cover. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're going to go ahead and loosen the nut on the ground terminal. We should be able to spin this terminal and slide it off and set it aside. And using a 10 millimeter socket, we're going to loosen and remove the hardware securing the engine cover. Set that hardware aside, grab that cover, and gently lift upward. Remove it and set it aside. Using an eight millimeter socket, we're gonna loosen our hose clamp for our air intake tube to our throttle body. You can also use a flathead screwdriver if you want. Make sure that's good and loose. If you follow over here, we have a vacuum port right here. We're gonna go ahead and separate this portion of our hose instead of from here. Really doesn't matter which one you do, but this one here is a little bit easier to gain access to. So use your pliers. Move that clamp down. I'm gonna use my hose pliers here to gently grab a hold of this, twist it. And work that hose off. Go ahead and work your way down here to the sensor. There's a tab right here. You're gonna push in on this tab and pull that connector off. With that separated, follow the harness over to this connector. This is just a retaining tab holding this to the air box itself. You can use needle nose pliers, just push in on these little tabs and push that through. Go ahead and undo your air box clamps by simply pulling up. And then over to the right hand side, there's a 10 millimeter bolt for the air box. to remove that bolt. Now we did go ahead and disconnect our clamps here for our filter setup. Pull it out, set it aside. Now we're going to follow this right back up to our throttle body and we want to separate this from the throttle body. Pull this up. Pull up on this unit and remove it from the vehicle. Now that we have all the components removed here, we want to go ahead and remove our throttle body here. Now there is a power connector right here or the connector for the unit. There's a tab on the back side here. You can only push down on this and pull the connector off. It's a little complicated or tough to get to, so you can use a pair of pliers to gently pinch that tab and pull that connector off. And slide that off. Now here on the driver's side of the engine, there are three ignition coils. Now this engine is a V6, so there's three coils on this bank and three on the passenger side. Now there is an ignition coil here, there's an ignition coil underneath our throttle body, and then there's an ignition coil right in the back. Now the toughest one to get to is in the middle underneath the throttle body, so let's go ahead and tackle that one first. Using our number five Allen key here, I'm going to go ahead and loosen the bolts for our throttle body. Now we only removed the electrical connector to the throttle body. We have not disconnected any of the coolant lines or anything going to this unit because we're simply going to unbolt it and pull it up to the side so we can gain access to the 10 millimeter bolt holding the ignition coil in place. Good, remove the bolts and we're gonna set those aside.
that'll allow us to move the throttle body. And this gives us access to that bolt right here that we need to get to. So let's go ahead and grab our 10 millimeter socket. We'll go ahead and loosen that. We're also going to disconnect the electrical connector on this side here by pushing down on this tab here and pulling this off. I'm gonna put a flathead screwdriver on the edge of the coil and I'm going to press down on this tab. You can use your finger in some cases here. If you can put enough pressure on that and then just work that connector off, pulling that back. that bolt and I grab that coil and gently twist it up and out. Set that coil aside. You can slide this down and into position. Press that down onto the spark plug. Grab your bolt, line that up and we'll get this started by hand. Really just gonna make this snug. It doesn't have to be super tight. It's bottomed out, snug. Install the connector. Simply line that up and push it on. now installed. If you want to, you can go ahead and grab that rear ignition coil now, but the rear is accessible with the throttle body installed. Install your bolts. All four of these bolts are the same length. Gently snug these down in a crisscross pattern. At this point here, you just want to go ahead and repeat this process for the other five. When you install the air intake box here, you want to pay attention to the two posts that will have to go into the rubber grommets down in the frame area and make sure that the tube mates up to this here and locks into this as we install this component. Okay, as you push this down, the rubber grommet will line up with the bracket on the side here. And then we we'll want to go ahead and install this rubber hose here. In conjunction with the throttle body hose here. position. We're going to go ahead and use our pliers to bring this hose clamp up into position. I'm 
Up on top at the throttle body, we can now secure the clamp here. And when tightening this here, you're gonna feel that hose clamp snug down. Just give it a little bit more. You don't wanna over tighten it as you can actually strip the clamp. So you wanna make sure that's good and snug enough where you won't introduce any vacuum leaks to the throttle body. Down to the sensor here. Go ahead, install the harness, press that on. You're gonna feel it and hear it snap into place. Go ahead and install the harness retainer right here on the side. We can now install our air filter. Now is a perfect time if you need to replace the air filter. Simply pull out of the tray, replace it. Slide this down inside. Press down your retaining clips. Install the air box retaining bolt and snug it down. Place the engine cover up on top. Line up the two studs here and the remaining will line up themselves. Go ahead and grab your hardware and get everything started by hand. Two nuts on the front and the remaining three bolts. Once you get these started, you can go ahead and gently snug them down. Install the negative terminal, snug down the nut here. You do want to make sure that the nut is good and snug. Don't over tighten this because you can crack the clamp. Give that a good wiggle, make sure it doesn't spin on the post. Grab the cover, install the three tabs on the back side of the tray first. Press down the front, snapping the cover into position. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.